Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be really quick. I just thought I'd give you a little tip on where to position your tie uh, in comparison to your buttons when you go to tie different tie knots. Let's get right into it. So one way you can actually gauge as to where to position your tie is what tie knot are you tying? Is it going to be using a lot of fabric? If so, then you're going to have a very big knot at the top. If this is a the case, then you're either going to want to bring your bigger end or your smaller end up to the top. You're going to use a lot of that fabric, probably off the bigger end, so your smaller end is going to have to be shorter. Again, you can practice this. Whenever I tie a knot that has a bigger knot end, I always position on my third button. An example of that bigger knot would be the Balthus knot or the Triple Windsor knot. They, tie, they use a lot of fabric, so I'm going to want to have my tie up closer to my collar. On the opposite end, if you know that your tie is going to be pretty short, maybe like the four in hand knot, or say if you're tying the miniature knot, for example, then you're going to want to have your smaller end pretty longer on your dress shirt so that the bigger end actually meets your belt line. Whenever I tie four in hand or a smaller knot, I'll normally position my smaller end on my fourth, fifth, or sixth button. Again, this might be trial and error, but if you uh, position it to your button, you'll end up with a nice crisp knot. Again, really short video, just a couple tips on where to position your tie in comparison to the knot that you're tying. Enjoy.